Do you want to say something to the group, Mr. McMurphy? Well, yeah. I'd like to know why none of the guys never told me that you, Miss Ratchet, and the doctors could keep me here till you're good and ready to turn me loose. That's what I'd like to know. Well, fine, Randall. That's a good start. Would anyone care to answer, Mr. McMurphy? Answer what? You heard me, Harding. You let me go on hassling Nurse Ratchet here, knowing how much I had to lose, and you never told me nothing. Now, Mac, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't know anything about uh, how much. Wait a minute. Shit. Now listen. I, I... Now look. I'm I'm voluntary here. See, I'm not committed. I don't have to stay here. I mean, I can go home any time I want. You can go home any time you want. That's it. You're bullshit. No. It's bullshit, right? No, Randall. He's telling you the truth. As a matter of fact, there are very few men here who are committed. This is Mr. Brown, Mr. Tabor, some of the chronics, and you. Cheswick, you're voluntary. Hmm? Scanlon, Billy, for Christ's sakes, you must be committed, right? No. You're just a young kid. What are you doing here? You got to be out in a convertible while. Bird, dog, and chicks, and bang and beaver. What are you doing here, for Christ's sake? It's funny about that. <coughs> Jeez, I mean, you guys do nothing but complain about how you can't stand it in this place here, and then you haven't got the guts just to walk out. I mean, what do you think you are, for Christ's sake? Crazy or something? Hmm? Well, you're not. You're not. You're no crazier than the average asshole out walking around on the streets, and that's it. Jesus Christ. Leave it. These are very challenging observations you make. 